Hello, Dimsdale. I'm Chet Ubecho with today's editorial, which technically makes it a Chetatorial. Rising rent costs are now impacting middle-income households, with nearly 40% of middle-class renters nationwide spending over 30% of their income on housing, an increase of 20% since 2019. This affordability threshold, used by both the Census Bureau and the Department of Housing and Urban Development, highlights the burden on renters unable to save for milestones like homeownership, rent hikes outpace wage growth, particularly in high-demand areas like Nashville, making it hard for renters to keep up. Some states, like New York, are responding by enacting stronger renter protections, while economists emphasize the need for broader federal investment to ease the housing crisis and help renters secure financial stability. A heartbreaking news. In Clayton, New Mexico, a 17-year-old boy has been charged following an accidental shooting that critically injured his 8-year-old sister. Police report the incident occurred as the siblings were preparing for school. The teen allegedly pointed an unloaded handgun at his sister and pulled the trigger, striking her in the head. Family members attempted immediate medical aid and called 911. The girl was flown to a Texas hospital in critical condition. Authorities said the firearm did not belong to anyone in the home, and the teen disassembled it and disposed of it in a dumpster. He faces charges including aggravated battery, negligent use of a deadly weapon, and evidence tampering. The teen is held at a juvenile detention center. In other updates, Los Angeles County has reported 11 locally acquired dengue cases in 2024, nearly doubling since early October. The latest two cases were in residents with no recent travel history, raising concerns about potential local spread, according to Dr. Muntu Davis, the county health officer. He advised health care providers to test patients with dengue-like symptoms, even without recent travel. Dengue, spread by mosquitoes, typically causes fever, aches, nausea, and rash, lasting about a week. Previously rare in California, the state reported only two local cases last year after more than a decade. The CDC issued a health alert this year, with California and Florida reporting 11 and 49 cases respectively. Preventing mosquito bites remains key. In another update... Starbucks CEO Brian Nickel announced a return to handwritten names on cups and self-serve condiment stations as part of a broader effort to restore a personalized coffeehouse experience and reverse falling sales. The brand's global same-store sales dropped 7% last quarter, while customer visits fell 8%. Nickel emphasized the need for fundamental changes, which include removing extra charges for non-dairy milk, lowering some prices, and streamlining the menu. Additionally, Starbucks will reduce app promotions to reinforce its premium positioning, though it does not plan to raise prices next year. These steps aim to improve service speed and align with customer feedback. From all of us here, stay classy, Dimsdale!